Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. So, we're just going to go ahead and get started. What do we got? This reading may or may not be for you, so keep that in mind. I still get people that don't understand that not every single reading is for you, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. The timing is fluid. Keep that in mind as well. This reading is not sign specific. Okay, it may or may not be for you. What do we got? Ace of Pentacles. So this is a manifestation of some sort. This is new potential. Potential for something solid. This is a gift. This is an opportunity uh, that could lead to something long-term. So this is a long-term opportunity, something you can touch. Somebody is receiving something, and it is a real gift. Okay, this is a gift. It's like, here you go. Okay, this is truly a gift. Ten of Swords reversed. Now, this is also a golden opportunity. We talk about it a lot because this is an opportunity to grow something. Somebody may have an opportunity to manifest something or they have manifested something. The Ten of Swords reversed. I was just looking at this card intently like a minute ago. It came up when I was shuffling this deck. Three cards fell out and this was one of them. And it did fall out and reversed. So... Um, you know, th it, this kind of looks like a death to me. I don't know if those are crows or ravens or what they are, but it looks like, I mean, that uh, crows or ravens is like a symbol of death. Now, Ten of Swords is like a death as well. So, but this is li liberation, freedom. The storm is over. There's a big opportunity here. Somebody's receiving something. Wow, Ace of Wands reversed. Now this is, the Ace of Wands reversed is uh, something going south. No growth. No passion. A lack of passion, a lack of growth. Something going downhill. Nine of Swords. This person is very, very stressed, sad, has a lot of regrets. And when it's in reverse, it's extreme. So we have somebody that has extreme regrets for their actions. They're probably feeling very guilty, sad, depressed. Oh my God, how could this happen? Why did I do this? I can't believe I did this. So... There may be no desire here because this is no desire, no drive, no ambition. It's like the, this fire is being put out. Somebody's, it's like, this is a betrayal. Somebody has been betrayed. And it, like, it's like, I think there's a, there's the, this is the person that has been betrayed. And the person that has been betrayed them is feeling guilty. But this is a golden opportunity here. This is an opportunity. This is a, this is, the aces are a new start. Okay. There's potential. It's like somebody is being given something. <laughs> what are they being given? What are they being given? That is the question. Six of Wands. Now this is a victory after sorrow. That's the victory wreath. But that victory comes after hard work. It comes after sorrow. It comes after persevering through a situation. After, you know, working hard to make something um, happen. This is also being recognized. 
somebody is being recognized for their for their talent or for their hard work so yes it's like and they've been watched it's like it's easy to see that this was a great performance of some sort interesting this person is a star this person is a star and it's easy to see you see the people in the background that are saying, yay, 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 you're a star, that kind of things. So it's like getting kudos. Somebody is getting kudos. They're being recognized for their talents or who they really are. Somebody may have really tried to bring them down, though, with the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is defeat. Somebody tried to defeat them. Somebody tried to probably make them quit or something like that. But here, this 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 person over here is now feeling really weighed down. The world reversed. We got somebody over here that is feeling very, very empty inside. They're feeling lost. There's, there's a lack of success. So this person wasn't successful or they're not being successful because we know the world it, upright is a card of success. This is reversed. Somebody was trying to hold somebody down or weigh somebody down. And maybe, maybe, uh, they're really extremely unhappy because it, they weren't successful. This is a lack of success. No victory. This person over here is getting the victory. It's like you, you, you didn't succeed. Because remember I said this is a card of death. They didn't de de succeed in the defeat that they were trying to cause. So this person's perseverance has paid off. Interesting. Over here, this person is very sad. And very upset that whatever it is that they tried to stop didn't work out. Seven of Wands reversed. Now, this is somebody is very worn down. Um, somebody may be even admitting they're a defeat now. They're feeling powerless. Definitely. We have somebody here that is feeling, feeling powerless because... You know, it's like they, they, they are losing their power. They're, they've lost their power. They didn't, uh, whatever they planned to do didn't work out or isn't working out. We could have somebody that was engaged in like some sort of foul play or slander. You know, this, we do have somebody here that was really trying to, Make everybody believe something that was false. This was stiff competition with the Seven of Wands reversed. But I feel like we have somebody here that is ready to quit. Because they're not going to win. They're, this person is winning. Interesting. Or has won. Knight of Wands reversed. Now, the Knight of Wands reversed is, you know, usually this is somebody, this is very competitive. This is a very competitive situation. We definitely have a, a competition going on, or we did. Now, this is moving too fast, overly competitive. There could be a sudden departure of some sort with the Knight of Wands reversed. We could have somebody here that has a chip on their shoulder and their chip gets knocked right off. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it could be anybody. This is where that chip gets knocked off. It's like, ha, gone. And I think it's this person that is knocking somebody's chip. And it's funny because remember when I said those three cards fell out? One of them was the Page of Swords reversed. And in this deck particular, it had, had some light bulbs down at the bottom. And I said somebody might be get at what I was saying to myself was somebody might be getting their lights knocked out. <laughs> and I don't like to say that, but that's what I thought. Their lights are going out or... Something like that. But, you know, it's like, it's, it's like something is going out. 
nine of wands reversed oh yeah this is a, like somebody was trying to prove something this is a win because this is about winning perseverance wins somebody's hard work and perseverance now the nine of wands reversed it's, it's like there's not nothing left to prove i feel like that it's this it's like it, it's it's over something is over now we have this big opportunity here two of wands the decision has there could be definitely a sudden departure or a sudden entrance a decision has been made it's like there's no more indecision or somebody has been undecided but now the decision has been made it's like something happens and i think it's very sudden i do it's like a i don't know what it is some suddenly somebody recognizes another person for who they really are two of wands reverse this is this is um a decision being made <laughs> I feel like we have somebody here that is being held back or they were being held back. I see setbacks. I do see being held back by another person. This person was trying very, very hard. And they were holding another person back from success. Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye with the with the world reverse. You, they don't get the closure. It's like, and it is. That's what it feels like. It's like there's a sudden departure and somebody leaves without saying goodbye. And this, this could be in any facet of your life. This is unfinished business. <laughs> Temperance. There's frustrations here. A lot of frustrations. We have somebody here that may have been pretending and they were resisting. They weren't learning their lessons. They were refusing to accept change, refusing to evol evolve, not realizing that everything happens for a purpose. We have somebody here that was very impatient and just not be not very awake as well, not very awakened. unwilling to accept change so we this person over here is is feeling miserable okay definitely feeling miserable because they it's like what they were pretending or what they were lying about or whatever it is that they were trying to hold back or to whatever they were trying to do it's like it's it's they're lost they lose that's what it feels like they lose king of pentacles now this king of pentacles is it could be anybody but this represents uh taurus capricorn or virgo we have a very uh wise mature individual that is loyal and hard working this is hard work somebody has worked really 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 hard they've put in a lot of effort what have they put it? They put in a lot of effort to stop something from changing. That's what this is. And this person it thinks that they got it in the bag or they think they had it in the bag. Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Now, we definitely could be dealing with an earth sign here. Could also be dealing with a child. You could be dealing with somebody that's a little bit younger than you. It could be your child or it could be anybody. But this could be an apology. This is do not get distracted. Somebody may have gotten distracted and I'm here to tell you to follow through on the plan. Somebody may be coming up with a plan or they tried to plan something. The Knight of Pentacles is very, very, well, we got a lot of hard work here. Hard work, hard work, hard work. Somebody that is very skilled. Somebody is, is working, is very secure and they're building up their security. 
working hard to build up their security. Somebody could be getting a raise, they could be getting money, they could be there whatever is happening it does have to do with money. There could be an increase in finances because of somebody's hard work just saying, I know that I'm changing this a little bit, but this is this is a payout of some sort. It is. Somebody may be getting some sort of payout for their hard work. For not giving up. This is getting the opportunity that they deserve. Somebody is getting the opportunity or the gift or the raise or the money or whatever it is. Could be even the status. You know what I mean? They're getting something that they deserve because they put in the effort. We have somebody here that is very, very responsible. Now the page of pentacles is where somebody is finds their ability to take charge of a situation and not give up. So we have somebody here that they're not giving up no matter what. Four of wands, there's going to be some sort of celebration. This is a celebration. It's time to celebrate. There is definitely a victory here. So there is a victory. Whoever this stable person is, is going to get a victory. And it's going to be, there's somebody who's being recognized. There could be some sort of recognition party, whatever that means to you, where, you know, an after party or, yeah, so that kind of thing. Maybe it's an after party. With somebody's status is being recognized, put it that way. The devil. We have the devil here. Somebody, look at this. Somebody's been strung along like a puppet. Look at those puppet strings. Somebody has been a puppet. I th but somebody was uh, allowing themselves to be controlled by another person. And this other person had control for, or still does. Whether it's another person or it's an entity or whatever it is. I mean, it ain't good. Definitely, we have somebody here that has a lot of regrets. There's no doubt about it. We do have somebody here that has a lot of regrets for engaging in something that was obviously unhealthy, but was based out of ego, was based out of uh, social pressure. Somebody was pressured into doing something that they now regret. Because it's not all it was cracked up to be. It's not. It could be dealing with a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. But we have we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We we have everybody, so it doesn't matter. But this it looks to me as though somebody's slow and steady common sense nature you know they're slow and steady nature which involves common sense and planning is go is going to bring them some sort of reward okay somebody is going to be getting a reward or they're going to be getting recognized for their hard work there's going to be and it could be a recognition party of some sort doesn't have to be a party. There's something that somebody is receiving. They, it's like they, they, their hard work has paid off. You asked for it. You proved yourself. Here you go. But we have somebody over here that was 
working hard to control a situation. They were. But now it's like, it's, it's, it was foul play. Okay, it was foul play. And maybe that's what's being recognized. Somebody maybe somebody on the outside or whatever may be recognizing another person's foul play, their their poor intentions, their bad intentions. One more card, one more card, or two, or whatever I decide. Death! Death! Death and rebirth. So yeah, this is the end. I said one more card, this is gonna be it, okay? So yeah, we definitely have an ending here. Okay, this is the end. It's over. All the all the all the masks are coming off. This is also hell. This is hell. So somebody is very materialistic. The devil is materialistic, and so isn't the King of Pentacles. Somebody's and somebody may have severe regrets over the materialism. Choosing money and things and social status over, well, there ain't no freaking love in these cards. Not one. So that could be the regrets. They could be on their deathbed and now they're regretting it. So we do have a major life change here. Things are about to change. Something is probably going to end. Obviously it is because that is what death is. Um... But it does lead to a rebirth. Endings lead to new beginnings. So be prepared for something to end. This could be an actual death. It could be a the end of something that... Uh, was very prominent in your life, obviously. It could be death of the old you. And the beginning of the new you. This is a transformation. This is ending something and starting over. There's no life left here with the Ace of Wands reversed. There's no life left here. Okay? And somebody is probably getting weaker. Weaker and weaker and weaker. So, anyway, I feel as though somebody was another person's puppet. It was based on greed. And I feel like it's over. In death, there is rebirth. It's a time to celebrate a new beginning. Because whatever just about killed you or whatever broke you is over. Consider this a victory. Time's up. Good luck. I know I said good luck, but as I was looking at these cards... I see that somebody is, is seeing the light, okay? Somebody is seeing the light, okay? Um, it's like, it's just like all of a sudden, th there's this light bulb moment or they really see the light. There, This could be the end of a marriage, the end of a commitment, okay? And it's time to celebrate and live again, okay? It's time to live again. That's why this needs to end because somebody needs it's time to live again. This could also be the end of working for somebody else and going your own way. Somebody may be starting their own business. They may be starting their own, well, or starting a new career. This is, and this could be leaving behind, you see these, these are like pentacles, right? I mean, I don't know what they are, but, and what I saw was, um, leaving behind this, for in, in taking taking the big opportunity that is being given and going someplace else. Somebody is going someplace else. It's like this is a bigger, better opportunity. So somebody could be starting their own business or getting a new job that pays more or somebody is ending a previous commitment or a previous marriage and they're starting over. This is starting over someplace else. So somebody is going someplace else. It's, it's the This is over. It's done. Okay, it is something is ending and it, and it could happen abruptly. It's a bit like it's a very sudden ending. It's like without saying goodbye, I'm going, I'm going my own way. That's what I see. I'm going my own. I'm not going to be your puppet anymore. I'm not going to be this puppet anymore. This whoever is doing this, they have the skills, they have the know-how to be successful. Okay, 
So I think that somebody has been gay engaged in a situation that had no growth, that had no fertility. And then all of a sudden it's just like, uh, goodbye, goodbye, or not even goodbye. Just, you know, they don't even, it's like, they don't say goodbye. They just leave. They just, just, that's what I think this is. I can't take it anymore. It's too stressful. This is too stressful. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. So that's, that's, that's what I see. It's too stressful. I, I feel like somebody else over here, this is victory. This, this is seriously a victory. There, there's definitely, um, and remember I saw the wreath. Okay. That is victory after sorrow. Now the wreath is often on the world card. So it's a completion. So definitely we have an ending here. Something, a cycle is ending. A cycle is completing. And it's like, there's no closure. It's like, a, there's no need for closure. The end, the end. It's time to live again. It's time to do what I want to do. So that's what I see. Is there any love in these cards? It's not, it's, it's not about finding, it's not about a love relationship right now. It's about rebirth. It's about being who you are meant to be. Being who you want to be. It's not about anybody else. It's about you. That's what this reading is about today. It's about regaining stability. It's about regaining security. It's about putting in the work, putting in the effort to start over. After being in a lifeless situation where there was no growth, no fertility, no passion. It's passionless. So it's somebody that is finding the integrity and the backbone to start over, even though it's not easy. That's what I see. Good luck for whoever this is for.